I have no idea why there are lines going through my face. Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. We may be heading for a mini ice age in 2030. But then again, probably not. Thanks to reduced solar activity. And this is uh, according to scientists from NASA. No, there are no scientists at NASA who are saying that Earth will see a mini ice age anytime soon. We uh, originally discovered this article on iflscience.com. We'll post a link to it down in the video description. And it's some pretty interesting and uh, earth-shocking news if it does come out to be true. And um, Yeah, uh, it's not true. And it kind of looks like it is going to come out to be true. Like yes, if you only look at the idiot headlines for some of these articles, it does look like that on Earth has always been dependent on the conditions of the sun. So scientists spend a lot of time studying its activity. A recent announcement from Solar Science suggests that the sun may soon enter a period of significant reduced activity. Reduced activity? Yes. Significant? No. Possibly causing a mini ice age by 2030. Possibly? No which is just 15 years from now. These predictions were announced at the National Astronomy Meeting in Wales, so it hasn't been possible to evaluate the research yet. Oy vey, and I'm not even Jewish. There's two issues here. A scientist in Russia has predicted, or I should say projected, using computer models, that the sun might go into a new minimum close to what the modern minimum of 1,650 to approximately 1,700 happened where the sun's total solar irradiance decreased by perhaps 1.15 watts per square meter. Ice age, new solar minimum, two different things entirely. Scientists, some of them, are projecting the one None of them are projecting the other. However, Professor Valentina Zorkova, who made this announcement, claims that the findings come from a computer model of sunspots that has made unprecedentedly accurate predictions. That's right, unprecedentedly accurate. The projections, of course, is for the 11-year total solar irradiance and sunspot activity cycle not for any minimum, the confidence level on if a minimum will happen is much smaller than the confidence level on the 11 year cycle which the model projects. The press release mentions nothing at all about climate. It does not mention anything about an ice age. It mentions that a computer model has projected that we might see Sunspot activity go to zero for a brief time in the next 15 years or so. The previous time this has happened was in the 1650s after the Little Ice Age was happening. It did not cause the Little Ice Age. It is thought that extraordinary volcanic activity in the tropics caused the Little Ice Age not a decrease in the total solar irradiance of the sun. And yet we can find hundreds and hundreds of articles on the internet with misleading and false headlines regarding the press release. Nowhere in the press release is there any hint of any ice age happening anytime soon. The misinformation problem was exacerbated when one of the scientists connected to the project issued her own press release and got several things wrong. Quote, there is no strong evidence that global warming is caused by human activity. End of quote. That just cracks me up. There's a hell, a massive amount of evidence that shows the current global temperature increase has been and is being caused by human beings. All the world's climatologists agree. The fact that past warming of the planet was not caused by humans? Two totally separate and different things entirely. Quote, the study of deuterium in the Antarctic showed that there were five global warmings and four ice ages for the past 400,000 years. People first appeared on Earth about 60,000 years ago. 
End of quote. Therefore, since people used to die before handguns were invented, handguns don't kill people. She's talking about glacial and interglacial periods over the past 4,200 years as recorded in the Antarctic ice cores. This has absolutely nothing at all to do with solar variability, nothing at all to do with a solar minimum or a solar maximum. Two totally different things entirely. Quote, However, even if human activities influence the climate, which they did, do, and are, we can say that the sun, with the new minimum, gives humanity more time or a second chance to reduce their industrial emissions and to prepare when the sun will return to normal activity. End of quote. Yes and no. Let's take a look at the previous time when solar sunspot activity went to a minimum and how much energy the total solar irradiance decreased during that period, and we'll compare that to now. This graph shows total solar irradiance reconstruction for the past few hundred years. A 11-year cycle average has been imposed upon the yearly values. Out of the total solar irradiance decrease of about 1.15 watt per meter square, 31% of that energy would have been reflected back into space anyhow, so we would get approximately 0.8 watt per meter square of cooling. However, human activities is already cooling the planet, mostly by our particulates that we spray into the atmosphere. The cooling amount is so far and currently about 1.9 watts per square meter. That cooling effect can be seen in the global average temperature record, specifically starting in the 1960s and going to the end of the 1970s. Current human-caused warming components is vastly greater than any cooling effect that we might expect from the sun. This image shows the natural-caused warming due to the sun and its current very slight increase in total solar irradiance. When we sum all of the components together, the warming and the cooling effects, we find that human-caused warming of the planet is still greater than 1.5 watts per square meter. This is more than twice any cooling effect that we might see if the sun's total solar irradiance goes to a new minimum. There's only one way that Earth will see a new little ice age anytime soon. That is by increasing Earth's albedo. We can do that by pumping in a whole lot more aerosols into the atmosphere, specifically sulfur dioxide and other particulates such as what we call black soot and just toss that up into the stratosphere. Or increasing Earth's albedo by volcanic activity that is excessive, more than the norm. That would cause a new little ice age. The variability of the sun is not going to do that. It did not do that in the 1650s. Volcanic activity did that. There is no mini ice age pending anytime soon here on this planet. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.